Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm gonna show you some more advanced feature of 3D object tracking with Vuforia and Unity. In our last tutorial, we saw that how can we make a 3D object tracking experience with Vuforia and Unity, but there was no occlusion. That means that object will be uh, augmented on top of the physical object. But today I'm gonna dive more into it and I will show you that how can you make a 3D object tracking with occlusion. That is the object itself will be occluded by the physical component in the real environment. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I am going to use the Rubik's Cube as my 3D object tracker. You can use your own object tracker like we use a car in the last tutorial. And uh, when this tracker is tracked by Vuforia, this climbing model will be shown. If you are not familiar with the 3D object tracking, please uh, see the previous tutorial and then uh, come to this one. It will make your life more easier. Okay. So yeah, I have configured all the things like we did in the last tutorial and I have just changed the tracker and the model to make it convenient with the uh, objective of the project. Okay. So what will happen that this um, particular model will be crawled up on top of this Rubik's Cube with occlusions. Okay, so in order to achieve this, we have to create a 3D object uh, as a child component of the object tracker. So as I am using the Rubik's Cube as my physical target, so I'm gonna create a 3D cube. I'm gonna place it here in front of the player I can change the position later on when uh, I am trying to debug it with my device. For now, I am just gonna put it here. Okay, great. Now, if I go to the cube component, uh, we don't need the box collider, so simply remove this one. And also, in the material section, uh, rather than using the default material, we are gonna use the depth mask material. So this one is provided by Vuforia. This material has a shader that, that is responsible for the occlusion. So we are pretty much done here. Now, if you run the project in your computer and try to scan your 3D object, you'll see it uh, works totally fine. But if you try to build it in your mobile device, you'll see something else. So here is my mobile build. So as you can see, there is some black shadow on the occlusion part of the character, right? So let's fix it. We can simply solve this problem by going to the shader file, search for depth mask and double click on it, open it with your editor. And in the Z test, change the L equal to always. Save it build it and run it in your android device you'll see that it works perfect before wrapping up uh, i'm gonna quickly show how can you configure the downloaded miximo 3d model so when you download it you'll find something like this make sure that you also import the animation with it and uh, go to the rigging section in the inspector and from the animation type select humanoid and press the apply button so it will configure the character to humanoid and also in the material section uh, click on the extract textures it will uh, extract the texture inbuilt in the model and assign the materials with it so when you are done uh, the model is pretty much ready to apply on the scene so if you drag and drop it you'll see that there is no animation controller here in your model so you have to create an animation controller by yourself right click on the project window create and animation controller give it a name and assign it to the controller of your character next uh, for me, I have used two different animation for my character. One is 
the climbing animation and another one is the stand so when this animation is done the stand animation will start playing so if you want to do that again go to the model and the the downloaded model you will find there is an animation clip under the model as a child so drag and drop it to the animator window and also drag and drop the another um, drag and drop the another animation on the animator so this is two different models this is a sitting model and this is a climbing model both of this model had the animation so I had to just drag and drop this animation clip on the animator uh, inspector okay and now just simply right click on the base and make a transition between the animation clip thank you for watching the video if you have any comments or questions please let me know in the comment box below and also if you have any request for any kind of particular video also uh, mention that in the comment section i'll try to cover that and i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you